All right, and we back on the forecast. Now, our people have to understand we are at war. And this isn't new. We've been in a 400-year-long war. But right now, we are coming into another violent peak. In Texas, there was a white man that tried to kidnap a 13-year-old. The boy said they threatened to kill him. They said they were going to hang him. They said, you're never going to see your mom again. And a black woman saw him running, tried to help him, called the police. And the police was questioning this 13-year-old kid like he was lying. He said the reason why they got him because they said he was black. You deserve to die. Got off the bus stop. Once he got off the bus stop, started walking. He said maybe five minutes later, that's when five boys, they all white, red hair. He's about 17, 18 years old. Got him, pulled him in the truck, and the dad was like the ringleader of it all. This cop actually told this woman racism isn't a problem down here, not in Texas. But not too long ago, Miss Black Texas winner Carmen Ponder was unlawfully arrested by Commerce Police. Now let's go back and see what happened to this young sister, Carmen Ponder. On duty? Like, what's, what is it? I'll call I've got two officers on the way right now. What? You have a lawyer? That's I cool. have two police officers. I didn't say lawyer. Okay, I that's fine. I have one. You I need have to three. You're good. <laughs> might, need, might need to call I me. have three. Good. I do Oh, yes. I have someone who says they're an officer trying to detain me. He's the friend of a guy. That's fine. He's a friend of a guy who called me a black bitch <laughs> at the Walmart parking lot. He's telling me that I'm being detained and he's waiting for officers to get here. I'm trying to get in my car and leave. They stood outside and waited for me to come out from outside. I've been, I'm trying to avoid this. They're blocking the door, doing all that. He's like, you don't know. You don't even understand. <laughs> hey, speak those those guys up out here at Walmart. Commerce. I'm at the Commerce Walmart. Walmart. You mentioned? Um, I'll be with you. Yes. Now. I don't know what's going on. There's someone who is showing me a police badge and telling me that I'm being detained for his friend calling me a black bitch in the parking lot. I went inside, I shopped, I got my wings, which just one thing came back outside. Okay. Came right back up. Come on now, she heard it. The lady, that's why she was sitting there and she said, oh, that was him. She heard it. She heard the whole thing. Who works here? But anyway, like I was saying, like I was saying, I, I know you're recording this whole thing. That's, we do that. <laughs> but anyway, like I was saying, they stood outside. This guy points at me and they said, it's her, it's her. And he tells me that I'm being detained. Why don't, why don't we step over here a little bit out no, of the way? No, I'm going to stay right here unless I go to my car. You don't want to step out no. of the way of these people? We're like right here where the doors are. I am wearing um, a new sweatshirt, I mean big sweatpants, a great t-shirt that says yeah, just, yeah. And then there may be more video we need in a little bit of her. I think they're here. Someone's here. Okay. No. You are being detained. Where do you think I'm going? No, you're do you see being this? detained. No. I'm going to the cops. No, no, there we are. We are the police. Like, man. I am going we are, to the police. We, we, we are the police. I am going to him. We, we are the police. You do not tell him to handcuff me. I'm his boss. I'm, I'm telling him what to do. Okay. Ma'am, do you see this? You saw I did nothing. Everybody you see this force? Do you see this? 469, can you please get my number? Yana, Yana, I know, Ray, please. I, I'm Isaac's friend. Please. 469 569 2002. 469 2002. Please. I'm Isaac's friend. When do I get my phone call? You're not under arrest yet. You're being detained. When I am You're not being detained. Sir, Explain to her I can't. Right like, look. Explain look, sir, right. look. I am not. Look. You grab it. I'm literally not doing anything. This is my chief. That's fine. Okay. What you need to do right fine. now is cooperate. What does it look like I have been All doing? All you need to do when I, when I okay. stopped you a while ago is to stop. Can you please you let did. me go? Like, I'm not moving. I have not done shit. Look at all this. Now, do we <laughs> want to talk about what happened a while ago? We already did. No, we didn't. 
I'll yes, back we with did. this officer here. I'm, I'll step back. You know, you talk to him. Actually, oh, actually, no. Can I? I want to talk to someone else. Right, so, just go ahead, please. New video surfacing tonight, and a North Texas police chief resigns, all over a confrontation with a former beauty queen. Marian Martinez, watch this all unfold tonight. She's live in Commerce, where a standing room crowd turned out for a hearing on the chief's future with that city. Marianne. Well, Doug, the police chief himself did not attend tonight's meeting. Instead, he asked the mayor to read a prepared statement, and it was what was in that statement that sent big ripples through this small town. I do not feel that I can continue to bear the weight of the police chief position. Chief Kerry Cruz is out as police chief in the city of Commerce. He stepped down after the arrest of former Miss Black Texas at Walmart in Commerce in May. Just before the arrest, Carmen Ponder cut off another driver in the parking lot before she went into the store. That other driver, who turned out to be a local school board member, saw police chief Kerry Cruz in the parking lot and asked him to intervene. Cruz confronted Ponder as she was leaving the store. The video shows Ponder didn't realize Cruz was an officer since he was out of uniform. She called 911 to request help from police. They arrived and arrested her on charges of evading arrest that were later dropped. It had nothing to do with her race or gender or anything other than what I felt was her disrespect of my position. Cruz will have another job with the city, an assistant to the city manager. It's the best way possible. If you're not in jail for a crime, if you're there for to get back at someone or anything like that, it's just simply wrong. Has Chief Cruz been disciplined in any way, shape, or form for what happened with Ms. Ponder? Oh, those are personal matters that I can't discuss. Now, the city insists in no way is this a demotion. In fact, Chief Cruz might actually end up making more money in his new role as assistant to city manager. Now, as for Ms. Ponder, she says that the possibility of a civil lawsuit is still very much on the table. So this is the Carmen Ponder got into a road rage incident with the man who happens to be on the local school board after he cut her off in the parking lot in Walmart. So as she turns around to walk away to go into the store to mind her own business, Michael Bean, this local school board member, sees his friend, the police chief. So the police chief, Kerry Cruz, who was in plain clothes, off duty, at Walmart shopping with his family, dropped everything he was doing to go confront this young sister and demanded she go apologize, I guess, for being an uppity Negro. But she refused and she called the cops herself. And when they got there, they arrested her. They didn't ask any questions. They just put her in handcuffs. They arrested her for resisting arrest, but they didn't have a reason to arrest her in the first place. And even then, she didn't even resist. Even the police chief admitted it was because she didn't respect his authority, quote unquote, even though he was in plain clothes, shopping like everybody else. And some random person comes up to you and tells you to apologize to somebody who just cut you off. But how dare her do anything to upset a white man and not apologize? But they eventually had to drop the charges. And even though one of them called her a black bitch, the police, of course, denied that race has anything to do with it. That's the only part of a case with a black victim that they always seem to figure out that is not about race. Now, they still haven't said why they detained her in the first place, but they made sure to make it clear that this had nothing to do with race. A former Miss Black Texas pageant winner and her attorney still believe her arrest at an East Texas Walmart was racially motivated. But the City of Commerce says investigators never found evidence of racial motivation. Investigators also say Commerce Police Chief Kerry Cruz never made any derogatory remarks toward Carmen Ponder. She originally claimed he yelled a slur at her during a confrontation in that Walmart parking lot. The story has changed since, but she still believes the arrest was wrong. Fox News' Allison Harris in now with the latest. Allison. Clarice, she is no longer concerned with the derogatory name she was called, but is now focused on the arrest that she says is unlawful. Tweeting today, but why was I arrested? Her attorney says it's because she's black and refused to apologize to a white police officer.
Carmen Ponder, Miss Black Texas 2016, believes she was arrested at a Walmart in Commerce because she's black. But the results of an independent investigation into the arrest and her original claim that Commerce Police Chief Carrie Cruz made a racist remark now dispute that. The findings by a law firm hired by the City of Commerce say the investigation revealed that there was no evidence that Chief Cruz made any racial statements to Miss Ponder or anyone else. There is also no evidence the arrest was racially motivated. Ponder's attorney maintains the arrest is unlawful. Spending the night in jail for refusing to apologize to a white man who had just accosted her. Ponder says on May 20th, after a road rage incident with the driver of a pickup truck, the driver followed her to Walmart and confronted her. Ponder first claimed that driver was Chief Cruz and that he called her a derogatory name. And that's when I received the, oh, whatever you black be. Ponder and her attorney admit now she wrongly identified the chief as the driver who confronted her and may have made a derogatory comment. The city says the chief became involved in the confrontation because he happened to be shopping at Walmart at the time. But they're not apologizing for anything. Ponder says she tried to ignore the still unidentified driver from the confrontation and went in the store. She says when she came out, a man with a badge told her she needed to apologize to the police chief. That's the police chief and what he says goes and he says you're going to apologize. Ponder said no thank you. The City of Commerce has not addressed whether the chief, the unidentified driver, or anyone else told her to apologize. Merritt says she was then grabbed and told she was under arrest. Police say she failed to comply with the officer's requests and started walking away. From a civil rights perspective, from a lawful perspective, that is not a lawful command. The pageant contestant was charged with evading arrest or detention and spent the night in jail. She called the police herself and said that she was being detained. She wasn't sure for what. Merritt says Walmart does have video showing the arrest. He has not seen it. He plans to file a civil rights lawsuit against the department. Ponder started her own crowdfunding site to raise money for her legal fees. The charge against her has not been dropped. A release from the city today does not say that the chief has been taken off administrative leave, but it does say he's exonerated of any allegation of making racial remarks. It goes on to say there may be other recommended actions, but all race-based claims will not be a factor. Now, Michael Bean did eventually resign from the school board, but not because he was forced. They were in full support of him. They were backing him 100%, but because he got death threats, he was forced to resign. And the police chief, Kerry Cruz, also decided to resign. He didn't get fired, and there's a big difference. He decided to resign. And don't be confused, he got a promotion. They moved him to assistant city manager, and he got a pay raise. Two leaders in an East Texas town stepped down just hours apart. This evening, the City of Commerce is looking for a new police chief and school board trustee. This all stems from a story about race, police, and the arrest of a local beauty queen. Throw in social media, and it quickly spread far outside of Texas. News 8's Hannah Davis went to Commerce. Now, this is where this story started back in May, but it didn't end here. It quickly went national, and now two men have resigned from their jobs. And this community says it is ready to move forward. And to move forward, Michael Bean says he had to resign as a Commerce School Board trustee. Not an easy decision, but Bean says all the attention was making it impossible for the board to do its job. Uh, death threats on Facebook, social media, uh, reporters at your front door. On May 20th, Bean got into a shouting match with Carmen Ponder over a driving dispute outside this Walmart. Ponder, a local college student and beauty queen, accused Bean of yelling racial slurs, something he flatly denies. That did not happen, and I want to make that clear more than anything. Commerce's police chief was also there. He was off duty, but Ponder says the chief told her to apologize. When she refused, she says another officer arrested her for evading arrest. I'm sure it's been hard on Ms. Cruz. I'm sure it's been hard on Ms. Ponder because Ms. Ponder, she has gotten as many death threats from the opposite side as we have on our side. Ponder's charges were later dropped and an outside investigation concluded the chief was not motivated by race. Even so, he stepped down last night, citing the backlash, a move that upset many of his supporters. We are adjourned. My phone would ring and we would look at it and say, well, oh, Nebraska, oh, Kentucky, oh, Florida. The Commerce City manager says the attention has been overwhelming 
The city even suspended its Facebook page for a while. And after two resignations, this small Texas town hopes to move on. In Commerce, Hannah Davis, Channel 8 News. We reached out to Carmen Ponder's attorney, Lee Merritt, to speak about this latest resignation and have not heard back, but he has said in the past that Ponder deserves an apology. Merritt says he has not decided whether to pursue a civil case. They harm and kill our kids and our teenagers, and they get promotions and raises, like with the young brother Ulysses Wilkerson down in Alabama. This young brother was unarmed, minding his own business, walking down the street, and the police said he was walking too close to closed businesses, so they stopped him, and they claimed he took off. And when they caught up with him, they claimed he resisted and refused to comply. And when they caught him, they brutally beat him up. And they beat this young brother almost to death. Now, the police said he was going for one of their weapons, but the one and only witness say they saw the cops beating him up while he was on the ground, unconscious. This young brother, Ulysses Wilkerson, said the last thing he will remember is a cop kicking him in the face. He suffered trauma and swelling in the brain, a cracked eye socket in three different places, and other injuries. And his only charge was resisting arrest. They never said why he was being arrested in the first place, but they justified it because he resisted arrest. A grand jury decided not to charge the cop Brandon Hicks. They said the cops acted properly in their official capacity and no crime was committed. They protected this cop and tried their best not to release his name. And now a few months after beating this kid up almost to death, Detroit police are promoting this cop Brandon Hicks to sergeant. They are giving him a promotion and a raise. When they harm us and especially our children and teenagers, they get raises and promotions. At some point, we got to say our children's welfare is enough for us to put aside our tribal differences and do what we have to do. We agree on the simple basics like building an economy, like creating our own school system and our own businesses. And our children being harmed should be enough motivation for us to start responding with urgency, with more urgency than they do to keep their position, the position of dominance. At the end of the day, we are all we got. And until we do what we got to do, then nothing will change. A small town police chief caves to pressure over a racially charged arrest. Good evening, I'm Cynthia Isaguirre. John is off. We have followed this story for more than a month now. And tonight in Commerce, the strangest chapter yet, the police chief unexpectedly resigned. News 8's Jobin Panniker was there. He joins us now live with more. Jobin. Well, Cynthia, you know, we've covered a lot of city council meetings over the years, but nothing like this. This one uh, was odd. It had a very different dynamic to it, two very distinct sides, and they made themselves known. It is not the setting most would expect. At First Baptist Church in Commerce, it is packed on a Monday. But I felt it was something I could handle. I was wrong. The mayor reads a statement by the city's police chief, Kerry Cruz, to the surprise of many here. He resigned. I do not feel that I can continue to bear the weight of the police chief position. A community somewhat torn by an event involving Carmen Ponder, an A&M Commerce student, and Michael Bean, a school board member, both fighting over an altercation on the road. But tonight was about the chief of police who intervened. She continues to verbally interact with Bean, and Chief Cruz allows it. A Fort Worth law firm was asked to review that case, presented the details for all to see, including Walmart surveillance. And that is Michael Bean in the red T-shirt. First, it shows Bean walking over to talk with the chief, who was in plain clothes shopping with his family. Later, it shows the chief walking in Ponder's direction. She turns the other way. <laughs> Her attorney says she was wrongfully arrested, claims the chief abused his power to make the arrest. Hunt County DA dropped Ponder's charge of evading arrest. The city of Commerce even cleared the police chief of using a derogatory word that Ponder incorrectly thought he said. In the chief's letter, he wrote that he felt Ponder disrespected his position as chief. Surprising and kind of laughable how, although it was my, my charges were dropped, everything is coming out right on my side, but it's still you did this. The resignation is welcome news to Ponder's attorney, Lee Merritt. So it would have been nice to hear uh, that he made a mistake in um, perfecting this arrest. But for most here, it is not the update they were hoping. Telling after the prayer ended. Amen.
a standing ovation for the police chief, now former, lasting 40 seconds. Honestly, I was a bit on edge just because of the setup. The group quickly left, said they felt uncomfortable. I mean, I know Kerry Cruz personally. I think he's a wonderful man. <laughs> but discussions continued outside. Civil discussions that ended in prayer. But the overarching and even possibly legal issues here have not ended. That may take time. And we had a chance to talk with attorney Lee Merritt. That's, for, that's the attorney for Ponder. He says he has not decided whether to bring a civil case here. He's also not happy that former Chief Cruz will still work for the city. We were told today that he will be assigned to work as the assistant to the city manager. is absolutely necessary. Sometimes race might play some part in Oh my life. God! <laughs> She looked at me when she said it. She looked at me like this, you're bad. And then it was just like really awkward. And then I just felt so bad after that. Right. And you think about the role of a teacher and the impact that they have on your life and everyone in that class and just how unfortunate that moment was. How did the other students around you feel about this? Did you talk to any of them about it? Uh, I didn't really talk to any of them about it. They just like, they're everyone in the class is a child except for the two teachers that were in the classroom, mm -hmm. but they were all like looking off into space. They were being confused and like, they were like, huh? Yeah, not sure okay. what was going on. So the, so your school has, has put out a statement. They say that it is extremely unfortunate that we experienced a separate unrelated incident involving a teacher using the classroom space for actions we do not condone. The matter was addressed immediately upon it being brought to our attention. This unfortunate incident affords us the opportunity to remind our educators of the importance of keeping any potential political bias out of lessons for students of any age. What, what jumps out to me, Josie, is the school would not have even known about this rant had it not been for you, for you opening up your phone and recording this. Right? I mean, you're the reason why they're talking about it now. Oh, yeah. I'm special. You're, do you have a do you have do you have a message for the school or, or you know anything you want to say before we let you go? Um, no, not really. But um, I'm just kind of like disappointed in the fact that mm -hmm. um, that teachers have like such a big impact on kids mm -hmm. and like like as a child, I know that you have to believe what adults say because like they're the adult and they like know everything right. So like I know that she was probably using that just yeah. so she can like just have more people, I guess, on her side. I yeah. don't know how to say that. Get no. out get out her own anger. Well, we appreciate you being here. You are a brave young girl. Uh, I know that's not easy, so it's great to have you on this morning, Josie. Thank you so much. So you have this sixth grader, uh, and her she's in social studies class, mm -hmm. thinking she's going to learn about American history. Do you think? And all of a sudden, the teacher goes on this 15-minute rant about President Trump, so the student decides to record it. Take a sixth look. grade student. Listen to Take this. Maybe he's talking about it was great. Your segregation is thirsty. Maybe he's talking about the 70s. Well, we had the Black Panther movement because people were still not being treated equally. Maybe he's talking about the 90s when we had police officers beating Rodney King in the street. Then we had a 2000 and we still having the same issues. So when my president says, let's make America great up, when was he talking about? He must be talking about when it was great for Europeans. America has never been great for minorities. And even now, it makes me go, hmm, when I'm trying to figure out when was it great. So again, that was recorded on a sixth grader's phone who happened to turn it on when this teacher of the sixth grade Unreal. class was giving this rant. Sounds like she doesn't want to be living in this country to begin well, with. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it's, and to think that these are the people that are educating these young kids. I mean, I, I give it to that student who, who has this phone and wants, how many other times this goes on that we don't know about? Right. Where they yes. don't, 
put on it makes you their mortified phone. as a parent to say I'm submitting my kids to public yeah. government schools where I have want to believe that the teachers are there above board you know it, teaching civics mm -hmm. now it's social studies it used to be civics but we, we've changed in that direction this is also the same school uh, where they were given an assignment apparently recently to write about why they should be for gun control and one of the parents we had him on the program yesterday called out the fact that why will chill bro fuck down what the fuck is wrong with you, man? I'm going to the store. Huh? Going Don't to you store. ever fucking put your hands on me. I was going to the store. You, you understand me? Don't you ever store. put your fucking hands on me. I was going to the store. I don't store. give a fuck where the fuck you was going. I was going to the store. Chill, bro. Don't say nothing, bro. Don't say nothing, bro. Don't say nothing, bro. Back up, man. Don't say nothing, bro. You put your hands on me every day like that. You put your hands on me. Let me let me let you know. You can put your hands on me. You just right put your hands on me, bro, so it's cool for you to put your I'm hands on me. I put my hands on you. You didn't? When I, man, watch out, bro. Watch out, man. Watch out, bro. Why you walking on me? What you I'm not do, doing man? shit to you, bro. I'm about to make you, dog. For what? You better back your ass what up. What am I doing? How you far you want me to back up? up? How far you want me to back up, bro? The fuck is you doing? Y'all touch me. Bro, how about y'all say Motherfucker, let me tell you something. You walk up on me like that again. I'm gonna After he put his hands on me. Shit. He could put his me? hands on me, but I, right, but. Bro, you still walking away? You, you still walk still walk walk walk. Me out here. Okay, you got me out here. Mike, Mike, chill, bro. I wish y'all a cigarette. Chill, bro. 705. Cause these niggas some hoes, as always. 705. Fuck you. I ain't need a fish, bro. I'm standing by my vehicle, bro. You jumped out of your vehicle all the way over there. I'm posted. I need some hoes, man. Give me a cap. Relax, man. Give me Relax, a cap. It's not worth that, bro. No, he didn't just mace this nigga, bro. Look at this shit. Well, fuck, Look at this I shit. Don't you ever fucking put your hands on me again. I'm gonna need you to back up, all right? Just back up. Bro, why is you pushing me, man? Back up. Okay, you don't have to touch me, bro. The fuck is wrong with y'all whole ass okay. niggas, man? <laughs> Look at him, putting his knees on him and everything. Get the fuck out of here. You should get out. Why? This is a public store, bro. I can't it come in. They, you can't come in. This nigga's hoes, bro. Mike, stop, stop fighting, bro. Stop fighting, Mike. You bro, you can record this shit, bro? You better keep your ass down. You recording this shit, bro? Bro, I ain't do nothing to you. Oh, all this shit is recording big time. Who gives a fuck about that bitch ass camera? I'm gonna need you to back up. Uh, what back? I'm not in your view, bro. You can handle your business. I'm not doing shit, bro. Mike, Mike, Mike!